So because I did mess up and was not able to demonstrate uh, doing it correctly with infestation last time, I'm going to try to do it now. And hopefully it doesn't take me three Pokemon. Alright. So the key aspect is if the glitch had already been happening, um, and the glitch is where uh, it pulls up this switch menu, but there's no X to minimize it there. So tap it, and you'll see that I wasn't able to switch. Not only was I not able to switch, I accidentally uh, hit the charge move, trying desperately to switch. Okay, if I have it open again. I mean, it also closes whenever a charge move happens, but often you don't want to wait for your opponent to charge move. And if you're out of shields, that can actually mean death. So if I hit it immediately, I don't have any trouble. Um, you should make sure that you have just KO'd something. Alright, not just KO'd something. Just used a quick move. And make sure that you don't spend extra time tapping between those two steps. So even making... Yeah, uh, I would try to get your finger as close to um, the switch you're not doing. So you could be tapping up here. Or you can tap as close to the Pokemon you're pretending to switch to as possible. So in this case, I would want to be tapping near the middle and making sure that I'm not doing it near the end of the animation like that was. It can even be helpful to just um, pause for a moment, even though that's not ideal in PvP. A lot of the other outcomes uh, can be much worse. So I think it's worth, a, worth losing like a single quick attack to make sure that you're able to circumvent the bug. As this shows, it's not 100% foolproof. Uh, if you have your timing off, your switch will go through. Um, but the reason it doesn't is because you're in the middle of a quick attacks animation. Um, and that's what also has the issue of when people are trying to switch in an unfavorable matchup and they desperately keep going to the menu and the menu keeps closing. It's because they are trying, they're still in the animation and it's especially hard with things with really slow quick moves like uh, confusion users and in that case it's best to hit it and then stop touching the screen after you've pulled up the menu so you hit one last confusion and then right as it ends you switch um this mainly came to my attention when people were on Reddit were talking about uh, other interesting mechanics about the moves, uh, like that a move's damage and energy doesn't update until the next move happens, and that next move can be your opponent's or yours, uh, which leads to some interesting mechanics that I won't go into today. Um, but because of understanding how that updating works. Um, 
it also means that you can't switch while that move is going. And often you'll hit, uh, you'll not be able to hit a charge move because the animation is also going. Um, because in order to get the energy for the move you just used, either you or your opponent has to use a move. And until that move's animation finishes, you're kind of locked in. Um... I hope this was at least somewhat helpful. I know it wasn't the best demonstration. This was... Uh, I didn't actually have the bug come up because I was just using the team leader battles. Um, but this is something I consistently use in tournaments when it happens. And it's something I've been doing since shortly before Tempest Cup. Um, and I knew that there was something different about what I was doing, but I couldn't really uh, figure out how to elucidate that for other people to help them really understand how to get around it um, until somebody else uh, started analyzing the mechanics around the fast moves and how they're kind of wonky in the way that they're coded. Again, hope this was helpful. Uh, have a good night.